Hello, buddy. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be looking at Google's horrific spam problem, which has started to get reported in the media because it's so bad. It seems like Google have completely broken their search algorithm, and I, it happened right before Christmas. I've always heard just in general business dealings impossible to get anything involving Google done uh, in December because all of the important people are off. So as a result, there's a horrific spam problem. You can type innocuous keywords, such as the one I'm about to show, and end up on really bad malware and scams. So, for example, we can do this keyword. Now, searching for Craigslist used autos, the first results are fine. So there's been a bit of an improvement because in some locales, the absolute top result is spam. But if we scroll down a bit, we start to get to less legitimate. Like, for example, rally tours... Okay, I just thought I'd interject for a second to explain how uh, they're actually able to rank this crap on Google for phrases you're searching for. It's actually a technique that's called cloaking. And the way that cloaking works is they will program the site uh, so that it uh, will, to a search engine, appear to be nothing but text. Like, for example, this article, right? Uh, that's what the search engine will see. And... Uh, Lily on Twitter uncovered that this current campaign seems to do that via IP rather than user agent, and that seems to be harder for Google to detect. So you will simply, if the IP address belongs to Google, uh, you will simply display a text page. If the IP address belongs to anybody else, you will instead display a 301 redirect that will send everyone to the scam link. So that's how it's uh, done. Uh, you, you can go on uh, various... If, websites where some people market this. The main place for Black Hat SEO is a site called uh, Black Hat World, uh, where you can discuss and uh, find people who are experts on that. Of course, they don't recommend uh, scamming people or setting up this kind of a thing, but if you're curious how it works, that's usually uh, how it's done. Now, of course, they actually call out IP delivery here, uh, rally tours, and all of these, all of these, Halus, uh, Yuzaklaski, these are all scam sites. Now, pricklywolf.com, that is not a nice-looking domain, but let's redirect to it. Continue to the unsafe site, and we're just going through a horde of redirects. That will finally get us to a different scam site. So now, first of all, just going to try and get you to allow notifications for a variety of scams. And then it will take you to another fake, not a robot verification. You should never, if you're being forced to uh, enable notifications to access something, that is a sign that it is not legitimate. Now we're getting to a McAfee scam. Now this is eventually going to redirect us to McAfee, but this is an affiliate who's trying to sell you something you don't need. So let's just demonstrate how that works. And it's full screen, and it's just going to pretend that this is some sort of... Okay, so we've got look at me keylogger, and they, they're name-dropping things that they know the average uh, person who's not super tech-savvy might have heard of before. So we're going to start McAfee, because our banking information has been compromised by hackers, apparently. Now, at this point, nothing has happened. There's no virus installed. Uh, we just clicked a scam link, and the goal is to sell us uh, software. Now, we could get 55% off, because we need to eliminate viruses. It's got the date... Uh, yesterday, so we can, we can, uh, okay, okay, let's, let's pretend that we're going to go along with this, and now we get sent to a McAfee site, and yes, this is, this is real, this is McAfee, and the affiliate ID is here, now Jim Browning has actually tried to raise, uh, this with them, that these are scam affiliates, but given I googled some of these numbers, and they've been around for years, I, I, don't think McAfee is ever going to do anything about this, so I'm not going to bother. Now let's just check some of these other ones that... Now it's all going to pricklywolf.com. Now I'm guessing they're using uh, profane-sounding names, because they're trying to tell you've been on an illegal website, and the vibe I get is they're trying to make it seem like you just got redirected to a porn site, and then you got hacked from that site. Uh, but in reality... Uh, there's no content here. This is just a, a network of... Oh, oh, this is... Uh, this is different. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying there's no content. Okay. 
Oh. Wait, did, did that just crash the VM? Okay, there's there's something I've never seen. <laughs> well, I was gonna I was gonna clickbait with like how how this Google search destroys your uh, uh, computer, but I, I'm not clickbaiting. This actually crashed my VM. I've never I've been making these videos, never seen that happen before. So let's try it one more time just to validate that's not a fluke. Uh, that was some sort of uh, used autos Craigslist. Let's try. Let's just try putting in a different locale. See if we get something different. Uh, if I can spell it. And once we get down a bit, we should start getting into the weeds. Uh, kab dot cfd, but it always goes through pricklywolf.com. That seems to be a. A very uh, key part of this, and Microsoft Edge is trying to trying to be a bro and protect us from unsafe websites. But we want to, yeah, we're, we're human. Uh, positively overall. Now we got to validate that we're human again. You human, I'm human. Uh, oh, now we're getting the McAfee scam, and this one is actually just a bit of JavaScript. JavaScript hijinks, so we'll uh, close out that. Oh, and I'll make sure the sound is muted, because I don't really want to... If we do end up on the uh, pornographic one, I don't really want to have to edit that out. Now let's check out this one. Now, luckily, browsers are on this. Um, I, I don't know if Google is, but Microsoft has figured out that these are not real websites. Then we get to the Azure websites one, which will just try and get us to allow notifications. Oh, and now we got redirected to Recognize Torch Freeway, which is a different scam site. Now we're on to Anteaters again, which is going to ask us to... And there we go. So I am guessing it tries to make it look as uh, profane as possible. Let's check out some of these other. Um, so clearly... Google's indexing is just ranking because the way that local search works is, for example, if you search Craigslist calls for sale, you don't actually search that. Google inserts keywords such as your location, um, or you can type in a location manually, and those keywords are usually quite low competition. So that's even if you use a major American city, this seems to happen. But if we try somewhere smaller, uh, like Memphis Tien, uh, we might get uh, even more. Let's see if we get spam here. Uh, these actually, okay, this is this is the first obvious spam. And now we're getting to, somehow this one didn't go through the other. But then it goes to recognize freeway. The mall.co, I haven't seen this one before. And this time we ended up on AliExpress with what looks like an affiliate link. This is not a scam site though. This just seems like such a lot. Kawaii. I, I, I want to buy these. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I don't want to give the scammers money, but these are these are great. Uh, so I guess the idea is that you'll click this and be like, you know what? I actually wasn't shopping for used calls. I was shopping for cat ear headphones. That is much better. I'm going to order these right away. And that is, I'm guessing, how that was designed to work. And I don't really understand. I guess you might, if you thought you were clicking on Craigslist, you might think your computer has a, a virus, but for most of these, like, I don't, I, I just can't imagine I'm searching for used calls and I've suddenly ended up on a porn site. I, I can't imagine thinking, okay, I'm going to get out my credit card and uh, pay for this. I, it's just kind of weird. You, I don't even understand what the intention is here, but I guess given they didn't spend any money to do this, um, I guess it's... I guess it's pretty easy. So that's going to be all for this uh, short uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did. And tell me in the comments if you have anything else you want to see tested.